Hello friends, this is Vineet Pandey and today in my background I have a sample paper from UPSC previous year's question paper of English literature. My friends, many of you have approached me with messages you wanted to know how to solve some questions, how to go for analytical approach and how exactly you should go for your answers. So today I'll try to give you a glimpse of solutions, the way you have to answer things and I'll also give you one homework. So be ready for the homework and the narration first. As you can see here, this is a paragraph. The poetry paragraph has been given here and they have some questions here. What you do? See, my friends, first of all, you must have a proper understanding of literature. These kind of things that you actually study in your colleges, in your schools. Like the very basic thing that I'm telling you, can you go for a particular rhyming? Fate, hate. Can you go for particular connections? Like if I tell you the other options above, love, cross, loss, poor, before. So technically you find a rhyme scheme. A, then B, then A, B. And if you see, this follows till here. Means A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. So technically it gives us a message that it's neither rhyme royal because A, B, B, A, B, A, B, B, C, C. It's not rhyme royal. It is not Spencerian stanza. A, B, uh, A, B, B, C, B, C, C. It's not Shakespearean style. A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. And obviously it's not Miltonic style. Abba, Abba, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, C, D, C, D. So my friend, first of all, you simply find this thing that it is one of the modern styles. One of the modern style means that it seems that poetry can be Victorian, poetry can be modern. Then you see that the way they have written, we do not have any archaic word. Archaic word means where you find art, thou, the. So this is how you find it out that this poetry can be of a particular time genre up after 1850 to maybe 1950s. This is the way you understand the genre. It means you will not go for a wrong guess. Then you see this thing. Now they have gone for questions that the word balance, what does it mean? It is repeatedly appearing. You can go for what is the effect of contrast in the poem. So here, what you have to do when you read the poetry, read it twice, thrice to understand the meaning. The very first thing what you can do is read first of all to find out the structure, then go for deconstructive study. What is deconstructive study of poetry? Take these four lines, read, analyze and try to find out a meaning. Then go for another four, read, try and find out a meaning. Once you have found a meaning, of every, every four line, find out a common meaning of all of these things. You will actually understand the crux. Once you understand the crux, you will be able to answer these things. Along with this thing, you can also go for structuralist approach. Structuralist approach is that these lines have different, different meanings. You simply connect these meanings and try to lead a particular meaning. Means separately are this standing for one particular point. This will help you to find out the proper understandings, proper narrations. I know it will not be very easy for you to understand through this video. But if we are studying together, if you happen to get a chance to study with me, we will have proper narrations and I'll make sure that you have a proper understanding of these kind of structural approaches. You can go for proper comprehension and understand the poetry. Now, we move towards some other questions. As I have been getting a lot of messages by my students and some new students, they were telling me that, sir, we want to know how to attempt the question answers. So we see here, as you can see, there are some questions and one particular question that has been highlighted. The question you can see, my friends, is Tom Jones, the famous work written by Henry Fielding, is the story of the protagonist's journey which means it is picaresque style, picaresque style. If you know picaresque style, then you will understand his innocence, journey from innocence to experience to wisdom. So innocence, experience and wisdom. Wisdom always comes after experience and experience takes your innocence away. 
as kids we were innocent then we had multiple experiences of our lives and we are smart now we are smart see so elaborate this thing this reminds me of rk narayan the guide the famous work written by rk narayan the guide that is a question there they say that discuss raju journey from a you know from prison to sainthood so he starts his journey as a rog and then finally ends his life as a saint this kind of thing so how will you answer this try to understand they actually have asked you the character of tom jones the character development it is you know kind of cantles roman buildings roman mixed age journey is development is there plus maturity journey from innocence to maturity it means when you answer this thing when you elaborate the statement you will have to cite examples of innocence there are certain examples in initial chapters where you find out that he was innocent then how he moved towards experiences what went wrong his affairs with different different women his friendship his love you know with the neighborhood girl and then how he behaves at the last tom jones technically one character multiple examples of innocence experience and wisdom can help you to answer this then the second one i will come to the second question in the last because i have chosen this question for your homework so we go for second one means this one pride and prejudice we know this is written by jane, uh, jane austen and it opens up with the ironic narrative voice ironic narrative voice what are the lines there it is a truth universally acknowledged that a man in position of good fortune must be in need of wife so mrs bennet talking to her husband they have five daughters she is concerned about the marriages the situation is like you know our upper middle class or middle class and how a mother has to understand things she is asking her husband to meet people to meet a new guy in the neighborhood who is rich and she is being very practical using her wisdom she says that that go and meet there is a boy earning a very good salary and obviously a man in position of good fortune must be in need of a wife so this is ironic no doubt this is narrative but what does the question say the question say that it is the one the reader hears throughout the novel so means the first statement how the first statement it is you know 100 best opening lines it is one of the 100 best opening lines the first statement is in the every page reader hears throughout the novel means the social strata of life the social understanding conditions concerns situations how it modifies the story how it is visible why in jane austen love becomes secondary and marriage becomes the first priority why in jane austen class issues are visible why in jane austen if the people fall in love they always consider the standards first they consider the class first so when you answer these things make sure you read the proper relationship of all the characters their social status and condition social boundaries now we switch for the last question this is you know very smart question this is the reason you need classes how does jonathan swift uh, i'll rub certain things so that it becomes easy for you to see because now we are dealing with a very smart question and this is your homework also as i am going to teach these things to my upsc students in the batch i want you also to write your answers and send it to me i will check your answers whether you are my student or not doesn't matter aap iska answer likh ke bhejiye hum aapko main update karunga guide karunga how does jonathan swift address the ancient versus moderns my friends ancient versus moderns was the issue of battle of the books so do you know the concept of battle of the books written by jonathan swift in 1704 1704 mein jo battle of the books likha gaya tha 1704 battle of the books has the idea of ancient versus moderns so what is a how does swift address karta hai ancient versus moderns controversy if you remember william temple and all the controversy robert bentley 
in Gulliver's Travels and here it shows UPSC level. This is UPSC. This is IAS level. Question is from Battle of Books. Question is concerned with Battle of the Books. Battle of the Books is not directly prescribed in syllabus, but they have asked. That's why when I teach my students, I actually go for genres and I narrate things. If the writers are known for certain things, you must know, my friends, because Battle of the Books, see, if a normal student is studying UPSC and is focusing only the mentioned syllabus, you will simply end up reading Gulliver's Travels. But the question actually has been asked from Battle of the Books, the concept of ancient versus moderns. The concept itself is very important and represents the mindset of that literary circle at that particular time. And then they have smartly connected this to this. It's a smart question. All my UPC aspirants, this is a homework for you. I simply can give you one clue to answer this thing. Read Battle of the Books. Also understand the real situation. What happened? How William Temple got criticized? Why Jonathan Swift came in support of William Temple? And in the fight of ancient versus moderns, what was the standpoint of Jonathan Swift? How he handled this thing? Write the answers, simple answers. WhatsApp me on this given number. I will check your answers. I will help you. I will give you my final answer also with a complimentary lecture on this answer. Your time starts now. Thank you so much.